I would ask Ken, uh, what is the plan after lesson 30? Yeah, You're still on mute, Ken. Still on mute. Yeah. I, I'm thinking of the, uh, you know, the base camp idea. Uh, you know, and there's really two ways. I, I got to think about Uh, how to run how to run this course fresh from the start you know for the next cohort but at the same time maintaining the um, the, the base camp meeting for experienced climbers and so I, I think the uh, what I'm actually thinking of is I'd, I kind of like the combination of Sunday and Monday timings and I could imagine uh, how, you know, we have a session like this where the, the white belts come in for the specific lesson that they're working on and tell their story. And then the higher level belts, you know, you guys are purple belt, brown belts, uh, tell their story from the particular lesson that they happen to work on that week as an example of uh, you know second level or meta loop learning you know and you'll find a way to quickly tell that story hey i was working on this feature and what i my reflection this week was as so you know a, uh, in a way that is respectful to the white belts but also contributes, but allows you to kind of painlessly revisit the course systematically, you know, because you'll be hearing them talking about their, the particular lesson that you, oh yeah, I remember what it was like learning to tie knots. And I remember what it was like learning how to pack my backpack. And I remember what it was like learning how to care for my feet before the climb and care for my equipment after the climb. So there's a, a certain periodicity of the 70 things. But then there's also your own particular work in progress. So in my view, there would be a real strong value uh, to do it that way. It would reinforce the idea of the base camp mentality at the same time respecting the next cohort's efforts, but also giving us a way to maintain the momentum and continue on. I, I think there's a, that's really healthy. It doesn't preclude us from doing other focused training if you want, but I think I would open that up. Um, yeah. The foundations base camp, you know, base camp one and base camp two. So base camp one would be where the white belts are gathering and learning basic mountaineering skills on the bunny slopes, you know, going through the 70 things. Uh, but then also uh, maintaining the momentum that we have. And it may be in the future, like, uh, I, I mean, I've, I'm in a discussion with Chris White of Edge Raider, who has, makes Excel-based tools look a lot like the kinds of tools that I make. And he's got, I don't know how many uh, subscribers, but he makes a living at it. And his spider sense is that um, uh, his his followers, his, his customers, his clients, uh, are in real need of the kinds of uh, education and training that we do. Like he's a tool maker. But he also recognizes that people need a workspace to to work out in and to do their craftsmanship. So the short answer on all this, I think, is um, I think I'm going to maintain the uh, Sunday morning, Monday evening discipline for this course and just have that open to you to attend and just keep doing the work in public. Um you, that's your your cover charge is to uh, be a good example. That's what it'll cost you. Be a good example. That's a high price to pay. 
it's easier to spend money and then not have to do the work. <laughs> but I so I suppose I should also say, hey, if you'd like to participate but not do the work, then I'll charge you as a as a baggage handler. <laughs> as a as a as a com- commercial carrier you know uh and then we can decide later if you want to do if you want to do other coaching at some point i need to get off right now but i think that's what i would do if the i think the mon i think the sunday and monday uh, i'm just going to lock that in and say that's what, how we're going to do it and that allows me to uh um uh, to harmonize the different interests of white belts who need more of a structured approach and the higher level belts who can be self-directed. And that gets back to the point where we were talking about what do we do after lesson 30 or whatever it is. And there's the 10 myths. Well, that's sort of like the halfway house because what I'm asking you to do on, on those 10 weeks of lessons is really just, uh, read read that as a seed to get you started but then go back and work on the things from your notes from this course and come in and tell the story just to us that's kind of like a living example of what i would sort of expect you to be able to do when the white belts come in and say hey i've you know i've been there done that and you'll you'll end up probably being a source of comfort and inspiration to others you say hey i remember when i was in that in that position or here's what i discovered later um that'll be a uh performing a real service to that group so does does that sort of answer the question let's just keep planning on you know sundays and mondays just keep reporting on your work in progress you know uh, can uh, for me this uh session predict to to so more psychological connection with the outside world, you know. Uh, you know, I, I uh, I'm not retired. I don't think I'm retired, but I I'm actually stay home every day. I say INTG. I don't have much connection with outside world, so I really want to have a kind of connection. It doesn't matter what the content is. Can I do? Traders, professional traders, uh, is there, I think is really impo- important for me. Uh, I, I don't care much about the content, what we do. I just need the connection. Yeah. That's, that's why I'm, I'm asking. <clears throat> well, that's why I, th- I think the base camp model uh, of the story time around the fire is the thing that connects all of those individual. If you think about all the other rooms or activities in the base camp, mostly those are individual efforts or maybe small partnering, you know, to work on that exercise. But it's that the common area around the fire where the stories are told in a purposeful way is what connects all those things in a really important way that inspires you to do your best work. So I think that's, um that was an important insight for me from this week was thinking it sort of just jumped into my head like oh well obviously that's the way to do it so uh let's let's plan on doing it that way then